Hey, I'm back at my desk today. I did get through all of those three tubs, um, emptying them out, but I did not get to the three tier organizer. So we're gonna jo go through that today and finish sorting those um, comics out that don't have a permanent home yet. Um, I And I also ordered more boxes, so those should be coming in any time now, and I'm really excited for those to come in so these can all have homes, temporary homes, while I'm sorting and organizing. Um, before I jump over and do that, I did want to say the tub of random assortment comics that I did not show last time from publishers like Maximum and Image. Um, I did call my local comic book store and I spoke with uh, Pat, the owner whom I mentioned last time, about what was in the boxes. And I had to pull out a stack while I was on the phone with him so I could tell him what I even had. And unfortunately, he did not have an interest in any of those comics whatsoever, nor did he know anyone who had an interest in those comics. So I spoke with some friends and family, more so my mom did, because I had no intent in telling my family that I was doing any of this. Um, but they were quite interested in those comics, so happy little surprise there for me. And some of them will be taking those comics, and whatever they decide to do with them is up to them. Uh, in the meantime, I am going to go through some of these comics. I set aside um, a few that I'm really interested in knowing the value in, so I'm going to go through those today as well, uh, because I don't think that box is going to take very long to sort through and organize. So let's jump over and do that. So first up, I'm starting out with the first box, and there's this amazing Spider-Man right on top. Um, a bunch of these duplicate Free X comics, um, and then some Challenger and Challengers of the Unknown. Um, and then as soon as all of these are done, of course, we're on to the next comic. But you'll see I adjusted the uh, drawer there just because it kept falling on me. Um, and yep, here we go. We're on to Sleepwalker now. Not a whole lot of those to go through. Um, a Captain Adam again. I think we've seen some of those before. Uh, unfortunately, none of these were a full run, which was kind of disappointing. I got close there with only a few comics missing in between a couple of the sets, so that was kind of disappointing. And I realized here that I was going to have to get some sleeves for comics because these X-Men comics were not in the sleeve, in their uh, like protective sleeves. And then here is a bunch of Amethyst comics. I was actually really excited to see these because I thought I was going to have a full run of all of the comics, but I didn't. Um, and finally, onto the second drawer. Wasn't a whole lot in the first one, um, but we did start out strong with some Avengers comics and even some out of their protective sleeves and without cardboard backing. So once again, yeah, I know I'm going to have to get some of those before I can toss them into boxes. And then there was a random how-to beekeeping book in here, but I thought that was pretty cool because I like bees. Um, Green Flame, I wasn't sure how to catalog that one just because it was green lantern and superman so a little confusing and there are a bunch more comics that are out of their protective sleeves and without cardboard backing so at least i know it'll justify having to buy the protective sleeves like a carton of the protective sleeves for um, a few comics there and some superman but not a whole lot and then i didn't really know where to catalog this one either it's superman and batman i don't know which superhero it's gonna fall with but i guess i'll figure that out when i actually go into cataloging and there were some interesting ones in this collection like that one i just showed was a hard cover it wasn't like a soft cover i always like seeing these all-star comics um, especially the Super Squad ones, and I'm just pulling it out of the sleeve here to show you the date on it, um, which I know I sped by super fast on that, but we'll come back to it whenever I'm actually cataloging it in the next um, video that I put out. I'm kind of happy to see more Green Lantern, and then I thought the Aquaman was pretty cool, um, taking that one out of the sleeve as well just to flip through it too and see the published date. Um, I've gotten a lot better at putting them back in the protective sleeves after having to take so many out just to kind of flip through them and look at it. This one was so thick I thought it was two comics but it was just the one. Um, 
but easy to confuse because they do stick together with these protective sleeves that they're in. So the rest of this box was, or this uh, shelf drawer was just Green Lantern comics and Green Lantern core. So I'll have a fun time figuring out the difference between those and how to catalog those. those. Uh, this third drawer was stuck. You can see that comic I'm trying to pull out. It is bent, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Some more X-Men comic here um, with a crossover with Spectacular Spider-Man. I thought there was the all of the crossovers are intriguing to me. I always think those are interesting. And then this one was interesting to me. And I'm just showing off some of the funny backings that say like holy guacamole and how not to be a weenie on it. It was still in the original cover as you saw with all of the inclusions like certain cards and posters. And then there are a ton of these Legion comics. That whole right side that I'm flipping through was nothing but Legion comics. So I just skipped through that because there were a lot of repeats. And then the rest of this was random comics that I'd never heard of. Um... I didn't I know anything about them I still don't know anything about them I'll get to that when I'm cataloging them I am skipping over a few here like the explicit comics I don't really want to show those so I'm skipping through those and then there's a cool holographic front and this is where I kind of started to realize that maybe these were some of my brother's comics and not a part of my dad's original collection when I saw that dragon cover because that sounded more like my brother and then there were the ninja turtle ones that I was just like I think these might be Michael's and then this My Little Pony one confirmed that for me because he was a My Little Pony fanboy which always is funny to me just um, if you knew him his persona you wouldn't ever guess that he was a My Little Pony fan. Um, some Orpheus comics which was cool Um, he's I don't think really popular one. I was surprised to see Star Trek in here. We're more of a Star Wars family but, you know, no hate to Star Star Trek. One of my best friends is a Trekkie, so. And Iron Man, Superboy, and a bunch of Captain America that are not in their sleeves. Apparently protective sleeves with cardboard backing. So, you know, just proving that point that I'm going to have to get sleeves for all of them. And then this whole stack here is Captain America. And the rest of the box just had some no-name uh, repeat comics, so you'll see me skip over those as well. Hey, so I finished up that tier, uh, tiered storage bin. It's completely empty now, and I'm going to be getting rid of it and putting all of those comics into one of the new boxes that came in. Um, but I did want to go over just like a few of the comics. I've started to catalog some of them from the previous tubs that we went through, but I haven't been able to catalog all of them fully yet. That's it's a lot of comics. I did start looking up some of the value and like information behind some of the comics that I did find, and I just pulled some at random, some of the ones that I thought would be cool to look into just based on my knowledge of the ages of comics. So you've got the different ages, right? And I want to make sure I get this right. So I've got my computer in front of me and I was going to go through some of the value of some of the other comics, but I just want to tell you the right thing. Okay. Yes. So I wanted to make sure my dates were right. The golden age of comics is from 19... 38 to 1956 and then silver age of comics are comics that age from 1956 to 1970 um, then there's bronze age which is 1970 to 1985 and modern age which is 1985 to present day so um, I started to go through some of them like um, these Batman comics so the brave and the bold I didn't find very much on these I'm looking through the sold listings on eBay by the way when I pull pricing and these all ranged about like anywhere from a dollar to five dollars for these two um, I actually didn't find much on the one about green arrow so kind of up in the air but I did find more from the run of the brave and the bold with Batman versus different characters and pretty much all of them ranged from like a dollar to five. It uh, didn't seem like there was much of a great story arc or anything like that that people particularly loved about that issue. 
it's still cool that the cover price of these is 60 cents and uh they go for five dollars like a dollar five dollars okay um then there was this amazing Spider-Man one, and I decided to Google this one, probably as you can tell from the holographic cover, because I think it's really cute. Um, I did not get around to um, cataloging or looking up the other amazing Spider-Man issues. Um, I knew this one belonged to the modern age just because of the cover price, which is $3.95. That's not spectacular. Um, just lets me know that it is indeed modern age and I think this one went, goes for less than the cover price now which is kind of sad um, but understandable and then I tried to go for these adventure comics of Supergirl there wasn't um, a whole lot there um, again they went for about a dollar to five dollars and I'll pop in some of the coverage of that so you can see here what the actual price was in the price range which is varies greatly um, i do want to show you the inside of this cover it was from 1969 so it is a silver age comic which i think is pretty cool to have like something from the different ages of the comics i can just say yeah i've got golden and silver age comics so i'll show you the golden age comic that i have pretty soon here pop this one back into its sleeve um, and then Mighty Thor there wasn't again a whole lot of this and the price ranged greatly on this issue as well from people paying anywhere from like five to twenty dollars just kind of depends um, when it was in its full set because this is issue number 18 it went for a whole lot more than what it is um, actually work on its own. And then, speaking of the different ages of comics, um, I know I've shown this one a couple of times just quickly and briefly, Tales of the Unexpected. Um, the cover price on this one is what grabs my attention. It's 10 cents, which is wild, but I remember that it was from the 1950s, so I'm going to show you here what it was actually worth. I'm sorry, not actually worth, what the actual age of it is. Um, I do feel kind of sad taking this out of the cover, and you'll kind of see why as soon as I open it up. It is falling apart. Like, this comic is old. And for some reason, I didn't notice to begin with that it's hole punched. So someone had this in a binder. Um... It is from 1958, so not quite golden age, but almost there. So, again, it just blows my mind how actually old this comic is. Um, and then you can see it jump from, and I'm not even sure, oh, this one is issue number 23. And then I, the collection that I have suddenly jumps to 102 just the difference in the covers there is kind of wild. So this is actually what I'm going to be cataloging next. Um, and next time uh, I jump on here, I'm gonna be showing you guys the catalog that I'm working on, what that looks like, what kind of information I'm pulling and putting together, um, and also dumping these into boxes. And then finally jumping into one of these boxes, I think I'm gonna work this way over or I might even start with some of these smaller boxes to see if I can clear them out and put whole collections in them. So I hope you will join me for that next time. And I look forward to showing you more of this comic book collection. Again, if there was anything that you saw today that particularly stood out to you and you'd like for me to go over or something that you're interested in seeing about the collection, let me know and I will do my best to get to that. I'll see you guys next time.